umaga po sa inyong lahat. Ito po muli ang inyong kaibigan si Pastor Doms na magdadala sa inyo ng isang mabuting balita mula sa salita ng Diyos. Thank you for joining us today in our worship celebration. God has a word for all of us. May mensahe po ang Diyos para sa atin sa umagang ito. Kaya nawa tayo po ay uh, talasan po natin ang ating pandinig at ang ating mga mata upang tayo po ay makipagtagpo sa ating Panginoon. Well, God has a message for us and this is a message that will assure us to have an intimate relationship with the Lord. Amen? A message that will help us to bring honor and glory to our God. A message that will help us to fulfill our first and foremost purpose here on earth. Today, I would like to share to you about worship. Understanding worship that truly honors God. Amen? Ano po ba ang ibig sabihin ng worship? Okay? Kung pag sinabi natin worship, what comes to your mind? What do you understand about worship? How can we worship God that brings glory and honor to our God? Amen? You see, where people say that worship is simply singing praise and worship songs. Okay? Some people say worship is prayer. Worship is Uh, giving worship is dancing clapping and shouting some people say that worship is serving and giving your offering some people say that worship is meditating and reading the word of god and some people also say that worship is all about evangelizing discipling and going on missions amen well ang lahat ng ito po ay tama naman especially if we do it for the glory of God. Amen? One author said that anything you do that brings pleasure to God is worship. Amen? Yes, anything that brings glory to God is an act of worship. Okay? Sabi nga sa 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 31, So whether you eat or drink, Do it all for the glory of God. Amen? So anything that you do for the glory of God is an act of worship. So you see, our mission statement as a church starts with this word, to honor God. Amen? Meaning, our first and foremost purpose is to worship God, to glorify God, and to show The, the importance of having an intimate relationship with God. That is, you know, yan po ang isa sa mga layunin kung bakit merong community of praise to honor God. And then it says, and advance God's kingdom through sharing the word of God, sharing the good news, making disciples, developing leaders, and planting cell group churches. But first and foremost, you know, we are here or we exist to worship God, to honor God. Well, how can we worship God that truly honors Him? Okay? So to worship God, number one, true worship must be based on the Word of God or based on the Scripture. Ang tunay na pagsamba sa Diyos ay sang-ayon sa salita ng Diyos or sa katotunganan. Sabi po sa John chapter 4, verse 23, Sabi dito, yet a time is coming and has now come when the true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For they are the kind of worshipers the Father seeks. And in verse 24 says, God is spirit and his worshipers must worship in spirit and in truth. Ano po ba ibig sabihin nito, mga kapatid? Okay, sabi ko kanina, worship must be based on the scripture according to the word of God. Sabi dito, we worship God in truth. So here, true worshipers must worship in truth. Meaning, to worship God 
is to worship Him as how He is really revealed in the Bible. So if you want to worship God, if you want to truly honor God with all your heart, the Bible is the basis of our worship. Okay? You know, not just based on our opinion or not just based on the opinion of others or not just based on uh, uh, on some artist or like, for example, Hill Song is popularizing uh, uh, songs of worship. But we need to check on the scripture is if our worship is truly in accordance with the word of God. Meaning God is honored when our worship is accurate of who he is. Example, you know, we know that according to the Bible, he is a holy God. He is a sovereign God. He is a faithful God. He is a good God. So, ibig sabihin, when we respond to who he is, according to the word of God, let us worship him based on the scripture. You see, we cannot create our own comfortable way or politically correct image of God and worship it. Some people worship God according to their terms and conditions. And there are those who worship God based on uh, comfort and based on their terms. Okay? Kaya, mga kapatid, in John chapter 4, a Samaritan woman once tried to debate Jesus on the best time, place, and style for worship. And Jesus replied that the, these external issues are irrelevant. Where you worship is not as important why you worship and how much of yourself you offer to God you, when you worship God. Amen? Kaya dapat ang panlabas na anyo ay ginagawa natin ito dahil ito ay bunga ng ating nasa sa puso. Amen? At ito ay dapat tutuo. At ito ay para sa Panginoon. Ang ating mga palakpak, ang ating pag-aawitan, ang ating pagbibigay, ang ating pagsasayaw, panalangin, ay dapat nagmumula sa ating puso. Okay? Dahil ito po ay para sa Panginoon. Sabi nga sa Mark chapter 12, verse 30, Let's kong basahin sa Bible. Sabi doon, Mark chapter 12, verse 30, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. Wow! Glory to God. You see, people of God, when we have the revelation of how much God loves us, and when we have the revelation of how much He has done on the cross for us, how much He suffered on the cross for us, it is necessary also for us to respond to worship Him or to love Him wholeheartedly. God wants all of you too, not just part of you. He asks all your heart, all your soul, all your mind, and all your strength, meaning your whole being. God is not interested in half-hearted worship or half-hearted commitment. Partial obedience and the leftovers of your time and money is a no-no to God. Amen? Kaya when we worship God with all our being, okay? Sabi nga kanina, with all our heart, with all our soul, with all our mind, and with all our strength. According to the Bible, God desires your full devotion and He wants us to truly worship Him of who He is according to the Scripture or according to the Bible. You see, we can worship Him because He is our Creator. He is the giver of life. He is our, uh, our source of every good and perfect gift. Kaya sambahin natin ang Diyos sang ayon sa katotohanan. Real worship is rooted in the Word of God. Amen? Number two, true worship must be genuine and heartfelt. Okay? 
Ang tunay na pagsamba ay totoo at mula sa puso. Amen? When the Bible says, Love the Lord your God with all your heart, meaning God wants us to worship Him, you know, with all our hearts, with all our whole being. God wants our worship to be genuine and heartfelt. Sabi nga, tapat tayo ay kristyano, hindi lang sa nguso, kundi sa puso. Amen? When Jesus said you must worship Him in spirit, in John chapter 4, verse 23, He was not referring to the Holy Spirit, but to your spirit. Remember, you are made in the image of God. You are a spirit being. Okay? The, there is a spirit that resides in the body. In your body. Okay? That your spirit is designed to communicate with God. Amen? So, so every time we worship God, the Holy Spirit communicates with our spirit. Yun po yung ating contact points dito. Kaya, when we worship God, let us worship God not on our flesh, but with our spirit. Okay? So, it is not just a matter of saying the right words. You must mean what you say. Dapat yung totoo na mula sa ating puso. Heartless Praise is not praise at all. Okay? It is worthless. It is an insult to God. Kaya may mga worship na pakitang tao lang. Well, God sees our motives. God sees our hearts. Remember, when we worship God, you know, He looks at the motives of our heart. He looks at the attitude of the heart. Okay? Not our outward appearance. But, tinitingnan niya ang ating puso. Ang mahalaga sa ating Panginoon ay ang ating puso. Amen? Kaya kapag tayo ay sumasamba sa Kanya, ay dapat ito ay mula sa puso at ito ay magmamanifest sa ating panlabas na nyo. Sabi nga sa 1 Samuel chapter 16, verse 7b, Man looks at the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. Okay? So, tingnan natin mga kapatid. Sabi dito, ang tao daw, ang tinitingnan, outward appearance. Di ba ba? Tinitingnan natin yung panlabas na nyo. Yun ang mas mahalaga sa, ta sa atin. Pero sa Diyos, ang mas mahalaga ay ang panloob na nyo, ang ating puso. Okay? Yes, worship involves our emotion that leads us to laughing, to giving, to clapping, to crying, and dancing, raising of hands. But those emotions must be sincere, genuine, and not fake. Amen? God hates hypocrisy. God does not want showmanship or pretense in worship. Yes, we can worship God imperfectly, but we cannot worship Him insincerely. Amen? You don't worship to be seen by others or to please yourself, but we worship God and for His glory alone. Amen? You know, in our worship, our audience is God. Kaya, you know, even when there are just two or three of us, dapat yung ating panalangin ang ating pagsamba. Kahit tayo nag-iisa, ay dapat husayan natin na tunay na ito ay galing sa ating puso. Bakit po? Dahil ito po ay para sa Panginoon. Kahit yung walang nakatingin. You know? Don't give condition uh, to your worship. Like, You know, pag sinasabi natin na kapag ako ang worship leader, okay, mag-worship ako. Kaya minsan nga, you know, pag worship leader tayo, ang lakas nating umawit, ang lakas nating pumalakpak, ang galing nating sumayaw, okay, ang galing nating maging carriage. What about kung hindi na po tayo ang mga worship leader? Do we still worship God with all our 
being, with all our strength, with all our heart. Okay? So mga kapatid, what we're saying here is regardless of how many people, okay, and uh, where we are, whether we are alone or with group, let us worship God with all our hearts. Amen? Dapat hindi nagbabago yon, Kasi yung ating worship is a lifestyle. That's why, you know, the Bible said that we worship God in spirit and in truth. Okay? Worship must be both accurate or truthful according to the scripture and authentic or heartfelt from your spirit or from your heart. God honoring worship is deeply emotional, meaning from the heart and deeply doctrinal from our mind. We use both our hearts and our minds to honor and worship God. You see, real worship happens when our spirit responds to God. Okay? With or without music. Though through the prompting of the Holy Spirit, our spirit responds to the spirit of God. Our spirit is God's communication center. Whether in corporate worship or personal worship, whether at the church center or at home or in your personal room, mga kapatid, dapat ang ating worship is from the heart. Kaya nga, itong online worship celebration during this pandemic, alam nyo, mga kapatid, dito po matitest ang tunay na worship natin sa Panginoon. Our worship to God is being tested during this time. Dito po nasusubok ang bawat isa sa atin. Bakit po? Well, kasi will you continue to worship God when there is no face-to-face -face worship? Are you still, you know, worshiping God alone in your home? Okay? Are you still, you know, uh, listening to our online worship celebration? Now, na online, do you consistently worship God? Because ang tunay na worshiper ni Jesus ay di nagbabago at di nakabase sa lugar kundi ito'y nagpapatuloy na sumasamba sa Diyos faithfully saan man naroroon. So, you know, praise God that we can worship God beyond the four corners of our church. Halimbawa din sa so worship is a worship in giving or in the area of tithing. Amen? Stewardship. Pag sa church building, regular worship, bago pandemic, tayo po ay kumukuha ng envelope, nilalagyan natin ng uh, pera, at ito po ay inuhulog natin sa basket offering. Okay? Praise God! Okay? You have been so faithful. Church, now that we do it also online, okay? Wala po tayong face-to-face. Ang tanong ngayon, are you faithfully giving also your tithes? Yes. Are you worshiping God through your tithes and offering? Now that we do it, okay, through uh, depositing to our church account or via GCAS, Paymaya, and uh, Palawan, you know, or, you know, if you want, we can pick it up in your place, for as long as your worship, you know, ay may parating para sa Panginoon. Church, our church account, our Paymaya account, our, our GCAS account is on our screen right now. Mga kapatid, I pray, whether we are online or face-to-face, -face, dapat ang ating worship pa rin ay magpapatuloy. Amen? True worship in spirit is responding to God's uh, faithfulness, to God's goodness, whenever, however, and in whatever situation. God loves a cheerful giver. You see, give to God because God is a generous God. Our God is the source of every good and perfect gift. You cannot outgive God. You know, ang worship na mula sa puso ay hindi pwedeng pigilan. Okay? Yung talagang 
dadalhin mo, yung talagang ibibigay mo, ipagkakaloob mo, yung gagawa ka ng paraan, knowing that it is really for the Lord. Knowing that you are doing it for the Lord. Amen, church? So, the best style of worship is the one that comes from our heart. Okay? As a response to what He has given us or to what He has done to us. According to your personality, according to your talent, according to your character, according to your treasure. You know, be grateful always. Be thankful always. Every time we have the opportunity to worship God. Be it in giving, in singing, in dancing, and in serving God, and in helping other people. If you are doing it for the Lord, do it with all your heart. Do it with joy, with gladness in your heart, knowing that you're doing it for the Lord. Your biggest distraction in worship, listen here, people of God, your biggest distraction in worship is yourself, okay? Your interest, your worries, your unbelief, your pride, and your self-centeredness, okay? Kasi kapag tayo nakatuon sa ating sarili ang worship, guard your heart because everything that we're doing it for the Lord it must be done with right motives. Amen, church? Worship God through our hearts. Worship God through the Spirit. Number three, true worship is a way of life. Amen? Ano po ibig sabihin nito, mga kapatid? Well, Jesus said, Love the Lord your God with all your strength. Mark chapter 12, verse 30. Okay, sabi dito kanina, Love the Lord your God with all your heart. We discussed that a while ago. And with all your soul and with all your mind. Sinabi po natin yan kanina. And now sabi dito sa last part, And with all your strength. Ano po ang ibig sabihin nito, mga kapatid? Sabi kanina, Worship in spirit. Worship in truth. Now, worship with all your strength. Romans chapter 12 verse 1 says, Offer your bodies as living sacrifices, holy and pleasing to God. For this is your spiritual act of worship. Wow! Hallelujah! Offer your bodies. Ano po ibig sabihin? Itong ating mga katawan. Dito po nanggagaling ang ating lakas. Amen? Pag sinabing with all our strength, syempre through the body, okay, that God has given us. Kaya sabi niya naman dito sa Bible, offer your bodies now as living sacrifices. Okay? Holy and pleasing to God. Why? Because this is your spiritual act. Of worship. Kaya yung ating spiritual worship to God ay nagmamanifest sa pamagitan ng ating mga katawan. Sa pamagitan ng ating mga lakas. Why does God want your body? Okay? Di ba sapat yung spirit na lang? Why offer your bodies? You know what church? God is saying here, give me what you have. You know, give me what I gave you, your strength, okay? And offer it to me and use it to worship and to glorify me, sabi the Lord. You see, because without your body, you can't do anything here on earth. Amen? Yes. Kung wala kang body, wala kang katawan, eh wala ka rin magagawa. Amen? Bakit? Eh, you know, hindi ka magagamit dito. You can't do anything here on earth. Wala po, without your body. So, actually, yung expression na, I cannot attend the worship, but I will be with you in spirit. You know, for me, that's nothing. Okay? Hindi pwedeng maghiwala yung spirit mo sa body mo. Amen? This body, this earth, Suit is where our spirit dwells. Okay? Ito rin po yung temple ng Holy Spirit. 
Okay? And where your body is, there your spirit also. Kaya nga, di pwede na I'll join you in spirit. Okay? Uh, pwede I will pray for you. Pero pag sinabi mo, but my spirit is with you, nakakatakot yun mga kapatid. Amen? Hindi pwede. Mamamatay ka na nun. Kasi nga yung patay, kaya nga yung body, lifeless na yun because the spirit, you know, goes back to God na. So kapag ka umalis yung spirit, kaya, you know, yung mga excuses natin minsan na magsabi na, I will worship God with you, I will serve God with you, and I will be with you uh, in spirit because I have many things to do. You know, for me, that's nothing. Okay? So, serving God and worshiping God is to use our body. is the way of life. Sabi nga natin kanina. Worship is action. It is your response to God's goodness and faithfulness. You see, the Bible says, offer your bodies as living sacrifices. Nais nice ko pong basahin yung Romans 12.1 sa Tagalog. Ano? Sabi dito, Kaya nga, mga kapatid, nakikiusap ako sa inyo alang-alang sa maraming pagkakataong kinaawaan tayo ng Diyos. Ibigay ninyo sa Kanya ang inyong mga katawan bilang mga handog na buhay, banal at kalugod-lugod sa Kanya. Ito ang tunay na pagsamba sa Kanya. Wow! Ano daw ang tunay na pagsamba? Ay yung pag-aalay ng ating mga katawan. Ang paggamit ng ating katawan para sa Panginoon. Amen, Church? Ang ganda, no? So, offer your bodies as living sacrifices. Why? Because as you offer your bodies to God, you know, this is your spiritual act of worship. You know, God is just being practical about worship here, you know? Kaya today, under the new covenant, God is pleased and honored with His different sacrifices of worship. Ano po, ano, ano po yung banal at kalugod-lugod na pagsamba sa Panginoon. Meaning, offer your thanksgiving to God with an outstretched arm. Okay? With your body. Praise God with singing, with dancing, with clapping, using your body. Amen? Offering your praise to God through humility by kneeling and bowing down before God. You see, offering your finances, your giving, you know, your tithes and offering. Why? Because God has given you an ability to work, okay? An ability to earn money by using your body. So kaya kapag binlas ka, okay, through your work, then you offer to God your tithe. You bring back to God a portion of what He has given you. That is in recognition of who God is and how He has blessed you. Mga kapatid, ganun po. You know, ang ibig sabihin ng ating worship through giving. You know, you know I sabi ko nga last time, itong tithing is a revelation from God. is a revelation that God puts in your heart. And you know this people of God. And thank God that all of you are responding to worship in giving. You know, there are some practical expression of sacrifices of worship. So I mean, I think worship is a lifestyle. Worship is a way of life. We cannot be passive in our worship. Okay? Real worship costs. Kaya nga, when Jesus said, Love the Lord your God with all your strength, He pointed out that worship takes effort and energy. Amen, church? Worship is not always convenient and comfortable and definitely not according to your conditions and terms But it is based, you know, on our lifestyle. It is based on, you know, on our worship by using and by sacrificing our bodies to God. So, not according to our terms and conditions. 
if you want to truly serve God, if you want to worship God, and if you want to offer your talents to God, do it with a humble and a grateful heart. Amen, church? Yes. Do it with a humble and a grateful heart. Just focus on God. Don't focus on yourself. Okay? Hindi yung pwedeng, you know, ayoko nang mag-worship, hindi naman ako napapansin, hindi naman ako binabati, hindi naman ako nare-recognize. You know, church, whether nobody is recognizing you, whether nobody is, you know, uh, shaking hands with you, or saying good job because you're doing it for the Lord, church, continue because the Lord is our provider. The Lord is our rewarder. Amen, church? In worship, you cannot exalt God and yourself at the same time. Amen? So, worship, di tayo pwedeng magipag uh, uh, compete kay Lord. Or di tayo pwedeng makipag-compete sa isa't isa and get the glory, okay? For one, worship is for the Lord, not for us. Not for anyone, but to God. Not for our own glory, but for God's glory. Amen? Not for our own recognition, but for the glory of God alone. So if you want to truly worship God, you deliberately shift the focus of yourself. Hindi ikaw ang bida, kundi si Lord. And focus on Jesus alone. Our Lord, our King, our Master, our Savior, He is the object of our worship. Remember, madalas nating mabasa ito. It's all about Jesus. Yes. Okay, in everything that we do, palagi kong hashtag yun. Okay? Because it's all about Jesus. When you praise and worship God, even when others are not, okay, when you get out of bed to praise and worship God, even when you are tired, when you serve and help others, when you are, even when you are worn out, when you give, Okay, to God, your offering, even when you feel you do not have enough, yet you give to God in a way, church, that's worship. Church, you are offering a sacrifice of praise and worship to God. Okay, mga badid, yan ang uri ng worship that truly honors God. It is a way of life. Whatever you do, Wherever God will lead you, God will tell you to do, okay? Whether with someone, whether with the group, with your soul group, because you are doing it for the Lord, do it heartily and to the Lord. Church, let me ask you, which is more pleasing to God right now? Your public or corporate worship? or your private worship. Which is more pleasing to God now? Your worship to God before pandemic or your worship to God during this pandemic? Be honest. Nag-grow po ba tayo sa worship natin? Okay? Do we worship God even when no one is looking? Do you truly worship God, whether you are alone with your family, with your children, at home, in your living room, because worship is a lifestyle. Yung bang hindi ka mapakali, especially on a Sunday, you know, a day of worship, yung bang may kulang kapag hindi ka nag-worship kay Lord. Hindi ka sumamba sa Panginoon. Hindi ka nakinig sa kanyang salita church honor god give time to god make god your priority let it be your lifestyle let it be a way of life that's true worship amen church listener church the deepest level of worship is 
praising and thanking God in spite of pain, trials, needs, and challenging situation. Amen, church? Again, the deepest level of worship is praising and thanking God in spite of pain that you're experiencing, in spite of trials, okay, in spite of needs that you're facing right now, in spite of, you know, the challenging situation that you're in right now. Worship God. Worship God. Don't stop in thanking God, in honoring God. Remember, God is real, God is good, God is faithful, and no matter how you feel right now, He is with you, and He deserves to be worshipped. Amen? Church, let's thank God. Let's honor God. Let's worship Him. Honor God with all your heart. Again, one, worship Him according to the Word of God. To worship Him heartily, with all your heart. Worship Him in spirit. Three, worship Him with all your strength. Worship is a way of life. Mga kapatid, this is your spiritual act of worship. Indeed, worship is the highest calling of every believer. And we can worship God in many, many ways for as long as we do it for His glory and honor. Do you truly worship God in spirit and in truth? Do you truly love God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength? Do you worship God even when you are alone? or when no one is looking. Let's bow our head. Let's close our eyes. Yes, raise that hand to God. Church, remember the highest level of worship is praising, thanking, and serving God in spite of pain, in spite of trials, of needs, and in challenging situations. Because God's grace is enough. Church, let's thank God. Let's honor God. Come on, open your lips and thank Him right now and say, Lord, I worship you. I give you praise. I give you glory. Come on, church. Thank Him from the bottom of your heart. Speak to God. Speak to the Lord. Say, Lord, I worship you. Lord, I love you. Lord, I come before you now and offer it to you my body as a living sacrifice. I want to use this body, Lord, to worship you. Hallelujah. Pray with me now, church. Glory to God. Our Heavenly Father, we honor you. We worship you. We give you the highest praise and the glory. Lord, we offer to you our bodies as living sacrifices. For this is our spiritual act of worship. Thank you, Lord, for your word today, reminding us what truly worship is. Yes, Jesus, worship is our heartfelt response to what you have done on the cross for us. Lord, you love us so much that you gave your life for us to save us. Lord, you love us unconditionally. Lord, worship, yes, it's our heartfelt response to your loving kindness, to your grace, to your goodness and faithfulness. Lord, nagpapasalamat kami sa realidad that we can worship you beyond the four corners of our worship hall. Especially during this pandemic time, Lord, help us to grow deeper in our worship. That even though we are here in our respective homes or in different places, because corporate worship is not possible yet, Lord, thank you that you are always with us. You never leave us nor forsake us. 
Lord, accept our offering of praise, our thanksgiving to you. Accept our gift of service. Accept our financial offering. Lord, we know it's not about the amount, but it's our act of giving, act of thanking you, for you are our provider. Lord, cause us to truly respond to you spiritually, physically, mentally, financially. Oh Lord, thank you. Lord, truly you are not just confined in one place. You are with us. You heard us. You know our needs. You are our omniscient, all-powerful, and all-knowing God. Thank you for blessing us, Lord, with every good gift. Thank you for protecting us. Thank you for providing us of our needs. Lord, you know our needs. Thank you that even before we recognize that we have a need, you already answered us of that need. You already prepared the answer for that. Long before we recognize that we need a Savior, you already gave us the Savior through Jesus Christ. Lord, thank you also for protecting us against sicknesses and viruses, especially the COVID-19 virus. Lord Jesus, help us to focus our eyes on you, to worship you every moment of our lives with everything that we have and in everything that we are. We worship you. I pray this with thanksgiving. In Jesus' name I pray. And everybody said, Amen and amen and amen hallelujah glory to god church well church thank you for joining us today kung ikaw po ay tunay na napagpala ng mensaheng ito i encourage you to please share this to your friends to your classmates to your office mates then to your neighbors amen and see you again next sunday for another anointed life-changing Word of God that will change you for the better. You see, indeed, if you truly commit to listen the Word of God with us every week and for uh, a year, you will experience breakthroughs in your life. I'll assure you that God will bless you tremendously. God will bless you in every way. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, church. And let the shalom of God be upon you today. Thank you.